Recent hurricanes and even regular rainstorms have shown St. Augustine that water levels are rising, and that means flooding for the old city. Lots of flooding. New this week, we are now seeing what the city's flooding reduction plan looks like. Plus, how much of St. Augustine could be underwater if this plan isn't put into place. So let's go to the center of that project. Yeah, I'm thinking about buying some property out here, a house. John got a wall. I love St. Augustine, but he's concerned about flooding. Yeah, if you get flooded, forget about it. I mean, you got to tear the wood out. You got to tear everything out. We've had lots of flooding in the area. That area is around Lake Maria Sanchez. It's on the southern edge of downtown St. Augustine. It's connected to a marsh, and when these two bodies of water flood, downtown and neighborhoods such as Lincolnville flood as well. It's a big project. This City Resilience Officer Jessica Beach showed me the updated plans to reduce flooding here, which would impact 200 acres of downtown. Part of the plan, replacing this old weir or dam on the lake with a pump that will look like this. So that'll help us better manage the water when it rains. We can get that water out. That pump will push excess water into the marsh. But what will keep the water in the marsh and not flooding the streets? A flood wall. When it has flooded, water's been able to come in from the marsh over onto the road, but the new retaining wall will be about this high. It'll look something like this. A striking image is this projection of the area. On the left, how much of the area would be underwater without the project in place by 2050 with sea level rise and a storm like Irma. On the right, what it would look like with the project in place. Much less of the area is underwater. There are limitations to the design, but we're going to be able to protect all the flooding that we had in Hurricane Dorian the September flooding where it was a high tide nor'easter, that'll fix all of that. It sounds good to Gatawala, who likes St. Augustine and wants it to be above water. It'll, it'll bring property values up. Nobody wants to buy a house that they're going to have to tear down in two or three years because you had a hurricane or something come by. The federal money that is in the form of a grant comes in to help pay for the $30 million project. Construction could start in 2023.